Hello again. Welcome to Cisnewa, the platform where we speak truth to power. Um, I wanted to just do this. This is very, very important. Look, this is in English. You can have it also in Yoruba, which I'm actually going to show you. Give me one sec. I'll read this. In fact, no, I'm going to read the Yoruba first. Then I'll read the English. Just give me one sec. Yes. So I stated, I'm going to read it in Yoruba first. Then I'll read the English. But then I'll play a voice for you to show you exactly what can happen in Nigeria. There's no excuse for this not happening. None. And it would actually create jobs for our people right now. We can begin to really do this. There's no excuses. We need to have the constitutional languages. It's been done in other countries. We need to do the same in Nigeria. Um, in, in providing public services, for example. Let me show you what I mean. Let me read this to you in Yoruba. Ijoba je ti awon eniyan Nigeria lati odo rin ti joba nipa se ofin orede n gbagbo gbagbara ati ase re Akoko ikeji Ikopa awon eniyan ni joba n bodo ri daju ni ba mu pelu awon ofin orede yi That's the constitution in English section 14 and 14 C Now I'm going to read it in, in Yoruba sorry in Yoruba now I'm reading in English Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government through this constitution derives all its powers and authority that's 14 A 14 C the participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. Now, that is also, that is in English, but you heard it's in Yoruba. So, that is what we need. We need the constitution in our local languages. What, here is a better evidence of why I'm saying they are doing this in a foreign country. In, they provide services in, they, they give you the option to actually either learn it in your language or in, uh, in English. Listen to it. This is in England. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. If you would like to speak to someone in English, please press 1. So fech shara dat hi wenen gemraik, puisuch dai. That was Welsh. The second one you had was Welsh. Let me play it to you again. That was Welsh. Okay, listen now. Listen. This is English first. If you would like to speak to someone in English, please press 1. Now, that was in Welsh, in the UK, in the UK. So that means, I've shown you before, they've got documents in Welsh and in English. Why can't we have our own Yoruba language, our constitution in our Yoruba language? Sorry. There is no excuse why we cannot have our Europe, our constitution in our, in our language. I've just given you an example. They even have phones. You can talk to somebody in, in, in Welsh if you don't want to speak Yoruba and uh, speak English. Why is it that if we don't want to speak in English, why can't we know the information in our language? Why can't we? That's the question well, I'm asking. I've given you a clear example. Ladies and gentlemen, we haven't got time to waste now. The system of governance that we're doing is failing us. And I'm giving you clear examples of how we can begin to address this, situ this situation. I've just read to you in Yoruba, the constitution. But it is not available to our people in Yoruba. It is only in English. And we are not English speakers. And by having it in English, we are excluding millions of citizens. That is not democracy in any way, shape or form. In the UK that we suppose that we're supposed to admire so much. This is what they do. I'm gonna play it to you again. This is what they do in the UK. This is what they do. Listen. Let me make it better like this. I want you to see. This is what they do in the UK. Listen. In the UK, because English is not the only language they speak, they make the information available to people in the language in Welsh. Because Wales, Wales is in England. Why is it that we cannot have that in, in Yoruba land, in Igbo land, in Middle all the languages? And that will create jobs for our people who are speaking the local language. This has got to really stop. The, Nigeria is not working. I'm giving you evidence here. Listen to this. If you would like to speak to someone in English, please press 1. There you go. So, you can see that's in Welsh right now. So, what I'm telling you right now, our governance, nothing. We will not fix anything in Nigeria. Nothing will be fixed in Nigeria unless the people who 
the government is supposed to be governing on behalf of, the, the sovereigns begin to participate in the governance in their own local language. And there's a blueprint of how they do that already. You can see it on the screen I've just shown you. One, they speak the, the, in English and in Welsh. And they give people the option to have to have the message read to them in Welsh. Why can't we have our constitution in our own Yoruba language? Why can't we? Or in Igbo? Why can't we? That's the question I'm asking. Ladies and gentlemen, if this resonates with you, please do share it. This is very, very, very important message. And I'm telling you, this is, without fixing this, Nigeria will never work because we will never be able to hold anybody to account because we don't understand, many of our people don't understand what is, in, what is read in English. And English is not a sign of intelligence. No. We need to understand that. English is not a sign of intelligence. Please, what are your thoughts on this? You're watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Is this resonate with you? Please do share this broadcast. Let us hear your thoughts on what you just seen. This is said, this is totally unacceptable. I've just played to you. You had the English version, you had the Welsh version to give people the options to receive information in the language they prefer. The same thing was applied on ground in Nigeria. No ifs, no buts. Now, let us uh, do one more thing before I go. Please, go ahead. Subscribe to Citizen Ewa on YouTube. Subscribe. Hit the video button. Give us thumbs up. Help us reach more people. These are the kind of things that we must do. We must do. We must do this. It is no longer acceptable for this to, to go on like this. Uh, let me, one second, one second. To prove my point to you conclusively, it says get on the electoral register in English. And it says your local electoral register office, if you live in England, if you live in Northern Ireland, in local, you know, if you live in England, in Scotland or Wales, right? And it asked you, there's a section whereby you can actually have that in Welsh. That there, when you press that, it gives you this. It gives you this in Welsh. So you see that our constitution can also be the same thing. We can have the constitution in English for those who want to speak, who are speaking it. And in Yoruba, we can. Just like I am showing you here, the same thing applies. Uh, one second. One second. So, you can see now, that's exactly what we need. We need the constitution like this. Like I showed you before. Go and look at this one. See? If you look at this one, they got the English and they got the Welsh. In the UK, in Nigeria, it should be the same. They have the English and in the area that you are in, if you are in Yoruba area, it should be in Yoruba. If you're in Ebola land, English and Yoruba, and so on and so forth. This is what we need to do. Our governance is this. Look, if we do not take this step, nothing will work. Nothing will work. Nothing will work. And I'm here to make examples. I've shown you. You've heard the voice. You've seen the pictures. They do it. It's exactly the same thing. They've got the, the information about electoral register in English and in Welsh. You've got, now we have, I've translated. This is not done by Nigerian government. I have done this. I have translated the, 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 the constitution, sections of it into English, and from English into Yoruba, which you see on the screen. What we need, this, we have to have the same process. If we are saying that we are, we are following what they're doing in the UK, this is a central piece that has been omitted. We can no longer accept this anymore. Accept this anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, please share this broadcast if this resonates with you. Uh, you're watching this in AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. We need our constitution in our local languages. And we have to have the option to hear our constitution in our languages if we so wish in our land. Because without our knowledge of that constitution, we can't participate in our governance. That is the biggest stumbling block, block going. No, none of this prayer nonsense. Wake up. Wake up. 
You don't know. You know what is in the Bible. You know what's in the Quran, but you don't know what is in your constitution, and you need to know it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Citizen NY, the platform where we speak truth power. If this resonates with you, please do share, share, and share. I hope you found this information useful. I'll play in closing. You see, I am going to replicate what you see here on the screen. I'm going to show you in two ways. One, in pictorial form. You see it. In England, this is what they do. They have the information in English and they have it in Welsh for those who speak Welsh and who only, only understand Welsh. The same thing should apply for us. We should have it in English for those who can speak it and also for the majority of us who are who will speak in Yoruba. We need that. No is and no but because that is how they will participate in the governance. And then also in, in the UK, here is something that I want you to um, really take cognizance of and then we'll wrap it up. In the UK, they even have the option if you phone in and on the phone it tells you you have the option listen if you would like to speak to someone in english please press one you see that so that option is for those who want it in welsh if you speak in if you want english press one if you want and then they say it in uh, 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 in welsh to give them the options that is what we need. This is the central part of why our uh, uh, so-called democracy is not working. Because the people have not been allowed to fully understand in their own language what is written in the Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, if this resonates with you, please do share. You are watching Citizen NY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Please share this very important information, and I need you to take part in this. This is the fundamental problem that we have faced for over 24 years. Now there is no more hiding place for any government to not allow this to happen. This is something that must happen immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Citizen NY, the platform where we speak truth to power. If this resonates with you, please do share, share, and share. Help make this go viral. This is such of immense importance. We should have the information about our constitution, our rights in our languages. Because majority of us in over 220 million people don't, in, out of 220 million people, there are barely 10 million that speak English. We need them to understand in their local languages. Such as I've given you an example. The Welsh, they have it in their language. That is what must happen on ground. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Citizen NY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Please don't forget, subscribe to Citizen NY, hit the notification button, give us a thumbs up, and help us reach more people. Thank you for watching, and please, I really urge you, if this resonates with you, please do share this broadcast because it is of immense importance. The kind of information that we're sharing here is to enlighten our people. English is not a sign of intelligence. No, it isn't. Intelligence. People who are extremely intelligent don't have to speak a word of English. They are equally Yorubas, Igbos, Aousas, and so on and so forth. And we need that constitution translated into our local, local languages. No excuses. How do you see it? Please leave a comment. Your watch is the platform where we speak truth to power. I'll be back later on. Thank you and bye for now.